Hi, this is Becky from Recovering from Mental Illness, and today I'm going to talk about grieving the loss of a pet. As many of you know, I had two pet rats, Coco and Annabelle. They were more or less a therapy animal. Annabelle recently contracted pneumonia and had some abscesses in her lungs, so I made the very agonizing decision to have her put to sleep. And I have been mourning the loss of Annabelle. And here is what I have to say on the subject. Number one is let yourself feel the pain. My therapist was using the analogy of lions to talk about grief. And this comes from a pastor in Indianapolis whose wife was murdered. The male lion goes across the river of the watering hole and roars. The prey's instinct is to run away from the roar right toward the lionesses who are waiting to snare them. So running from pain or the roar could come back to bite you, like the lionesses capture the prey. So don't be afraid of pain. Acknowledge your pain. Accept your pain. Express your pain. My second thing to say on the subject is remember the good times you had with your pet. I remember that Annabelle, whenever she was let out of the cage, wanted to stay with me. I remember she would lick my finger when I put it in the cage. And I remember how even up till the day she died, she wanted to be with me. Her last meal, she perched on my leg and ate a few yogurt drops. And it was very hard to have her put down. But she was loved and I at least have the memories and nothing can take that. Number th three is keep an eye on your psych symptoms. I suffered a mild dissociative episode and talked about it with my therapist. The dissociative episode was probably caused by the fact that within the past week my bike has been stolen and that's a major form of transportation to me. My food stamps completely terminated, Annabelle dying, and finding out I have to have some medical procedures done. So anybody would have kind of snapped under that. But keep an eye on your psych symptoms and know when to ask for help. That's all I have to say on the issue. Take care.